you can do it. You see, timing is absolutely everything. Whether you're talking martial arts, whether you're talking lifting weights, whether you're talking gaming, uh, you know, jokes, you know, comedy, you know, uh, any of that. Timing is absolutely everything. Uh, if you look at chaos theory, the one of the the earliest uh, observations in chaos was the idea of sensitive dependence on initial conditions, which literally means the overall outcome is determinant on every tiny initial condition. And some things, you know, are feasibly ignorable in classical, you know, science and whatnot. But not really. You know, it, they may only create small degrees of change, but over a long period of time, over a long trajectory, those minor changes can certainly, or I should say minor factors, can certainly affect the total outcome to the point where the final outcome is completely unrecognizable from the initial expected result, the initial expected idea. And so uh, a great example is my fourth cage fight. Um, you know, I was fighting injured, which was stupid to begin with, but I wanted the fight over quickly. So I threw a really risky move. I threw a spin kick, spinning hook kick to be precise, because I know I can knock a motherfucker out with a spinning hook kick. Problem is, I way, 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 way overestimated um, the height and the setup. I kicked over his head height and didn't set it up well so that it became a uh, very predictable kick as all spin kicks are. Uh, and next thing you know, I'm on the ground with elbows raining down in my face. So, it's one, uh, you know, one example, and, and I'm sure that you can find dozens, hundreds, thousands of examples out there. But the big thing to keep in mind is that with this idea of sensitive dependence on initial conditions, this idea of timing, and I mean, it's not always just timing. I mean, it's the, the circumstances of the setup, but timing is the most important piece because oftentimes, you know, they say we're bombarded by something like two, three trillion bits of information every, you know, given moment, uh, and we only process a few thousand bits of information, something like that. Um, the same is true for uh, for everything else. If you're in a fight, if you're, you know, telling a joke or whatever, there are, you know, a, an innumerable amount of factors playing into the moment. And when those factors add up and are, are not calculated for, oftentimes it can throw you off. And sometimes, you know, a good joke becomes a very bad joke, or a good joke becomes a great joke. You know, the perfect punch becomes the perfect opportunity to get yourself knocked out, or whatever. And it's all because of timing. Uh, you know, a few UFCs ago, Roy Nelson threw this gigantic, gigantic haymaker punch and knocked the guy out. It's the easiest punch in the world to defend against, except that the timing was just right. You can throw these crazy, sloppy, unpredictable, horrible maneuvers that no rational person would use if your timing is right. So it's just something to think about, you know, and something to really incorporate into your training. The most important thing to incorporate into your training really is going to be stress management. But then once you have stress management under control, or at least underway, you really need to work on timing above all else. Because you can get away with a lot of really, really low percentage stuff if your timing is right. That's all I got for you. I will talk to you next time. Good journey.